when I was getting ready to film this video today, I realized that I don't have a single pair of ballet tights. How is that possible? channel if you're new I'm Goldie and this is the lazy ballerina club I obviously look very different than usual I never start my videos in a leotard and tights with a button but in today's video I am going to be showing you what exactly to wear to a summer intensive audition or a ballet company audition this year I'm gonna take you and get my eyebrows done we have to run a few errands it's gonna be a journey but if you're interested in learning how to get this ballet company audition look and what to wear for your next ballet company audition then make sure you're subscribed like this video and stay tuned to the end of this video where I try on all of my favorite audition leotards whether it's for a summer intensive or even a company audition so I guess we should just get into today's video hello welcome to my car okay so we have some errands to run I'm a firm believer that if you look good you'll feel good and if you feel good you'll dance good but before I get ready for my auditions, I love to get my eyebrows done, get my nails done, and I just feel like it puts me in the right mood, gives me the right energy, because if I don't have my eyebrows done or I have some janky nails done, I'm already feeling less confident and behind walking into the audition. I also have to go find a ballet store or a dance store because I am a huge fraud and when I was getting ready to film this video today, I realized that I don't have a single pair of ballet tights. How is that possible? Am I, is my whole life a lie at this point? I don't know. Okay, I just made it to my eyebrow appointment. The sun is blinding me. So I guess I will just talk to you after because if I try to look directly into the sun, I'm going to go blind. So I will see you after I get my eyebrows done. Okay, I just got done with my eyebrows. I feel like a whole new woman. I obviously look like a tomato. I don't understand how people go get their eyebrows done and they don't come out like bright red because my face is red for the rest of the day. But now that I got my eyebrows done, I am on my way to go find a random dance store in Boston to get a pair of tights. I just made it to the dance store and it looks a little sketch. This is what I'm looking at. Like a little hole in the wall, but I'm just going in for tights. So I hope that they have what I'm looking for and it was like the only store open so wish me luck okay we got the goods that store was actually so cute it reminded me of my dance store back at home like growing up it was like a little maybe I should pay more attention as I back up Okay, I am finally back home after my eyebrows and I stopped at the dance store and I didn't get my nails done, but I found a way to still spend my money before I got home. Now that I am back home, I am going to show you what to wear to a ballet audition. I am going to start with a summer intensive audition and then I'm gonna talk about what to wear to a company audition because there are some differences that you wouldn't necessarily do at a summer intensive that you would do in a company audition and vice versa. So let's go pick some leotards, shall we? When you're getting ready for a summer intensive audition compared to a company audition, the most important thing is to read the directions on the website regarding that specific audition because depending on what summer program you're auditioning for, 
they have specific rules whether to wear a colored leotard or a black leotard pink tights and you want to make sure that you are walking in with the appropriate leotard so that you're not like the only girl in like a hot pink leo and for the most part summer intensive auditions are typically black leotard pink tights but I am going to show you some of my favorite black Leos to wear for summer intensive auditions. So now that we're talking about company auditions, we can kind of play around more with the leotards that you choose for those auditions. You can pretty much wear whatever you want. You can wear a cuddler leotard, you can wear a unitard if you're crazy. You can wear black tights, pink tights, there really are no rules. When I pick out my audition leotards, I focus on a few things. I need it to be comfortable. I also love a good bright color. I don't understand the girls that walk into a company audition and try to hide or don't want to stand out because the main reason why you are in that company audition is to stand out and get a contract. With all the leotards that I'm going to be showing you today, I am going to pair them with these body wrappers tights. They're the ones that I just picked up from the dance store and they are the ones that I wear every single day in class and for performances and I actually get a large or extra large in my tights because I like to have everything baggy. I don't want anything suffocating me, especially when I'm in an audition. So these are such a great pair of tights for your auditions, your classes, or performances. Now that I've gotten my tights, I picked out my leotards, it is time to get ready for the audition. So I'm not gonna focus too much time on how I do my hair because I just did a full hair tutorial video where I show you my five favorite ballet audition hairstyles. I will link it somewhere here. So if you haven't watched that yet, go watch that. And I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna show you some leotards, and I think we should just get going because I feel like I've been talking forever. The hair is done, the makeup is done, and now I'm going to show you all of the leotards that I picked out for the summer intensive auditions and for the company auditions. Let's do it. The first leotard that I picked out for my summer intensives was this Yumiko. It is the halter neck. Yumi, this one, you can't really go wrong. I love this one. Like I said in my full leotard try on video, whenever I wear this leotard, all I think about are my back muscles and how to work my arms for some reason, but I love this one. It is so flattering and it is a classic audition Leo. The next one that I picked out was this cute little short sleeved leotard. This is my favorite leotard I think in my collection. It is so comfortable and I just feel so pretty in it. You definitely want to be comfortable and confident in the leotard that you choose for your summer intensive audition because the last thing you want to be doing while in an audition is worrying about your leotard. Next one that I chose for my summer intensive audition was this pretty lace one. I think it's a Morella, or what does it say? Ballet Rosa? I don't know. It's pretty random, but, but it has this nice low back and the lace detail kind of gives it a unique flair compared to all of the simple leotards in the audition. Then I just grabbed a classic Yumiko. This is just a simple Yumi with an open back. This is another one that is super flattering and holds everything in that you don't have to worry about anything while dancing. Last black leotard that I chose was this leotard from Elevé. I think this is the most flattering leotard that I own. Because they have this velvet detail on the sides, it kind of just like sucks you in. And I talked about all of these in my full ballet leotard try on haul. So 
If you haven't watched that already, go watch that because I show literally every leotard that I own. But if I had to do a summer intensive audition today, this is for sure the leotard that I would choose. These obviously look very different than the leotards that I showed you for summer intensives. But these are some of my favorite leotards or my go-to leotards that I always wear for any company audition. Whether it's for a classical ballet company, contemporary company, these are my go-to leotards. Let's start with this blue one. This has been my lucky audition leotard. I have worn this for a handful of my auditions in my career and this is what I got my first contract ever in. This is what I got my second contract in. At this point, this is my forever lucky audition leotard that I could never get rid of. And I mean, even if I'm in the corner, you're gonna see me. There's nothing shy about this <laughs> color leotard. The next leotard that I'm showing you is this pretty mint Leo. This was actually my audition leotard last year in 2019 or 2020 before the world shut down. This is another bold color leotard that even if I'm in the back of the room hiding behind 10 of the girls, you are still going to be able to point me out. Another favorite audition leotard is this gorgeous white leotard. I said this in my try on haul video, but this is like my princess leotard. I think it is so elegant and you can't really go wrong with a nice white leotard for a company audition. And I feel like I've been saying the same exact thing over and over again, but the point is to stand out. You want to be noticed in a company audition. You want to be noticed in a sea of other girls trying to get that contract. And I always feel so beautiful when I wear this leotard. Another fun one is this yellow one. This is an Eleve dancewear leotard and I just love the color of this. It's so happy and this is another super flattering one that I just don't have to worry about when I'm in my audition. And the last company audition Leo that I picked out for you guys today was this. Is this, is this pink or salmon leotard? This is another Eleve and it has that same velvet detail that the first black one did that I showed you. And this is just another one that is elegant. It's a lovely color and I just feel like I can dance my best in this leotard because I really don't have to worry about the leotard. And it's one of my favorites. Wow, I literally just broke a sweat trying on all those leotards for you. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this what to wear to a ballet audition video. Get ready with me, going to get your eyebrows done vlog, whatever mishmash of a video that I gave to you today. But I hope you enjoyed it. And honestly, when it comes down to what to wear to a ballet audition, the most important thing is to pick something that you feel the most you in and that you feel comfortable in and confident in and just choose something that you feel like you are unstoppable in, whether that is a simple black Leo, a colorful Leo for your company auditions, whatever it is, go into that audition with all the confidence in the world. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you are subscribed down below, like this video, and leave a comment down below if you are auditioning for companies or you are still in summer intensive auditions, let me know and I will see you next week for the next episode of this ballet audition series. Bye guys!